All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to Wismo Technologies. This is Malik Arjun here. Uh, quickly, I'm going to demonstrate on uh, one of the important topic for Rack Database. The Rack Database is kind of a shared file system where most of the uh, database related files or the physical files will be resides under my shared ASM storage. So this is going to be one of the commonly asked interview questions like what all the files are said and what all the files are not said between your rack cluster database instance wise or it may be in a different uh, sense they will ask the question like this what all files are the instance specific and what all files are the said between across all the rack cluster instances so these are like two different kind of questions you can get it in the answers uh, get it in the interview but answers are remain same we have many storage files for rack database few of them are said meaning a single file both the database instances or all the database instances can access and read and write and there are few of them non said between rack cluster instances meaning each instance specific it is a particular file and only that instance can write on that file. For example, we have multiple data files for the database, like system data file, sysog data file, user data file, temp data file, under data file. So all, out of all these data files, your system, sysogs, users, temp, all are said, meaning all your cluster rack database instances can access and can write concurrently. Whereas we have an undo data file that's an instance specific. My rack database instance one has its own undo. My rack database instance two has its own undo. My rack database instance three has its own undo. That's an instance specific. Only that instance running on that node will write on that undo data file. Same thing goes for your redo logs. We have instance specific redo log. My rack database instance one has its own set of redo logs. Only that instance can write on that redo log. And my instance two has its own set of redo logs and instance two can write on those read logs. A similar instance three, instance four, rack instances have its own read logs. Whereas RK logs, each instance generate the RK log, but each of those RK log can be accessed by any of the other instance, can be used for recovery by any of the other instance. So that's the said one. And SP file is a said one. I have a SP file said one. And each of these rack instances can access a single SP file. Whereas P file is a non said. Each of the rack database instance has its own specific P file locally located on that particular node wise. My password file for rack database is a said one. And all the rack database instances can access the same password file. And these are, I'm talking about the files which are resides under my ASM storage, except my P file. Remaining all these files are saved under my ASM storage. And out of them, few of them are saved and few of them are non saved. Like my system data file, system data file, user data file, temp data file, undo data file, redo log files, archive log files, and my SP file and password file. All of them are binary files and reside under my ASM storage, except my P file. P file is the text file which is locally located on that OS file system under Oracle Home DBS location. On top of this, we have other diagnostic logs like alert log, trace and TRM files, incidence file, code num files. These are all non said meaning the node specific. And also these are not on ASM disk group. These are locally located under that OS storage under diag location. And these are needed for your diagnostic purpose. We call it as a diagnostic logs, right? These are like said and non said file system in rack. And in addition to that, we may get a few more questions in the interview that what all the files are supported in my ASM storage, right? In simple definition, all binary files are supported in my ASM storage and non binary files are not supported in my ASM storage. As I told list of these files, the my your system data file, system data file, user data file, temp data file, undo data file, redo log files, archive log files, SP file, and password file. These are all binary files are all supported in ASM except this P file and followed by these diagnostic files. That's what I mentioned here. All data files, redo log files, archive log files export your 
export dump file, export import, IMPDP and DXPDP, and your RMAN backup files, your SP file, password file, these all are supported in my ASM. And also on top of this, we have OCR files and cluster related files. And then my ASM password file and my ASM SP file all are supported in my ASM. And except other than these binary files, the remaining most of the files are text files, which are not supported in ASM. Like P file is a text file, alert log file, TRM file, trace files, and incidence files, and code dump files. These are diagnostic files, which are not supported in ASM, which are node specific. You can keep it under individual rack cluster node under OS file system, which are needed for diagnostic. Right. To make it simple, if I draw a diagram, I have my rack node one. I have my rack node two, where my ASM one is running here, where my ASM two is running here, my database instance one is running here, my database two is running here. We have this ASM storage here. In this storage, we have like system data file. We have sysox data file, and we have user data file and we have a temp data file. So these are data files, system, sysox, user, and temp. These are accessed and written by both the database instances. And we have database specific undo data file one here. We have undo data file two here. And we have redo log one for instance one. We have redo log two for instance two. These are like your instance specific. At your redo logs and undo are instance specific. Redo logs and undo are instance specific. Remaining all of them system sysox and users are all saved. We have again on top of it, we have SP file. This SP file for my database instance. And again, same SP file for my database instance. Again, we have one set of SP file for my ASM instance. One set of same SP file for my ASM instance. And then this database instance and data uh, ASM instance, we have P file for my ASM. Right, and then similarly, we have P file for my ASM instance too. And similarly, you have P file for your database instance, and you have P file for your database instance on node two. These are like binary, these are text files which are not shared. And also these are locally located under that server, not on ASM storage. And apart from that, whatever, like, you know, you have alert log, you have incidents and you have trace and your TRM, you have diagnostic code dump file and all of them are node one specific and same thing node two specific, all these diagnostic files, which are locally available under local file system, not on ASM, right? With that explanation, quickly jump on to my lab. I have this host node one where my ASM one and database instance one running. And I have this host node two where my ASM instance two and database instance two is running. So I can quickly show that one. I'll connect to my node one or I can make it in a two terminal window. My node one, node two. Right, I'll set the environmental variable for my DevDB instance one here. I'll set the environmental variable for my DevDB instance two, env grep capital vara. Environmental variables are set to DevDB instance two and node two. Here, environmental variables are set to DevDB instance one for node one. So let's connect SQL plus SSDBA and node one as well, and node one and, and node two as well. So I can simply do show parameter SP file. So I can see data parameter file, that single SP file on node one, same SP file on node two, that is said. And then select name from VDollar control file. So we have data reco 
control file 1, control file 2 on node 1. Same thing on node 2. We have data and record, control file 1 and control file 2. That's a multiplexing of control file. Control files are saved between your rack instances. Fair enough. Select name from VDLR data file. So we have system, sysox, user, but where you can see undo one, undo two, two undo data files, both are instance wise, instance one and instance two. And remaining all system, sysox, users are all saved, but undo data files are not saved. System, sysox, users are saved, and we have undo one and undo two, that's the instance specific thread one and thread two. Fair enough. Now let's go to read log. Select member from VDLR log file. So we have read log group one, two read logs, read log group two, two read logs, read log group three, two read logs, read log group four, two read logs, like multiplexing of read log. Basically, let's say these two group together, one read log, these two group together, one read log, these two group together, one read log, these two file together, one read log, because in a, in a single group, two read logs, multiplexing of read log. So we have read log one and two for instance one. We have read log group three and four for instance two. So the same file, I can see it on the my instance two, but we're able to see all these instance specific files, but are not saved. Instance one can read and write on one and two. Instance two can read and write on read log group three and four. So how can I check that one? By doing describe VDLR log file, VDLR log. So this VDLR log says, Select my group number, comma, thread number from VDLR log file. It says my read log group one and two. That's my read log group one and two. These two read log files and these two read log files. These four read log files belong to my thread one. That's a rack instance one. My read log group three and four. Read log group three and four, like these two read logs and these two read logs, four read logs belong to my thread two. Right, you can see it on the same on the second node. Means your read logs are not said. Each instance has its own read logs. Similar to how each instance has its own undo data file. That's what, what we defined here. My read logs are non said instance wise read logs. And my undo data files are non said which are instance wise undo logs. Uh, undo data file and redo logs. And what about the temp? Temp, I don't have it. Like, you know, if you query VTLR data file, you don't see the temp file. For the temp file, we have a separate query. Select name from VTLR temp file. So we have data temp one and node one, and same thing on node two. We have data temp one. It's a single temp file saved across all your rack cluster nodes, both a cluster node can able to read and write the single temp file. Fair enough. So these are my uh, data files, read logs and SP file and my read logs. What about the archive logs? Archive logs are said if I do node one, archive log list. So it says use db query file destination. For our catalogs. If I know two also, if I say use DB recovery file destination, if I do show parameter, what is my recovery? DB recovery destination. So it says Rico is my DB recovery. If I do it on instance two, it says Rico. So now I'll quickly go to my ASM plus ASM one, ASM CMD hyphen P. If I go to Rico storage plus Rico. And if I go to my database and go to archive log, so I'll go with a, a today's date. So all these read logs are instance specific, like thread one and thread two, instance specific read logs which is going to generate this respective archive log. But these all archive logs are accessible, readable, and writable by all the rack cluster instances. That's why, you know, I make archive logs as a said. Fair enough. And what about the a P file? And what about the password file? 
So my password file for database, what I can do, s r v c t l config database hyphen d dev db. This s r c t l config will tell me where is my password file. It says password file under data dev db password file and dev db pw dev db. That's my password file, which is under ASM shared location. Both the instances can able to read and write and access the same password file. If I go here on ASM storage, this is my password file. Fair enough. Password file is said. What about the P file? The P file is instance specific. Like say I log out from here and it'll go to my Oracle home DBS location and then LSF LTR in it. So we don't have any local password file here. So if I create my devdb.vara, that will be like your node one has init devdb instance two.vara. That's a local p file for my instance two. For my instance one, it will be init devdb one dot or instance wise right now we don't have a local p file we have a sp file which is said fair enough now and apart from that your alert log and trace file are instance specific i can say a node one locate alert underscore dev db one dev db one dot log so this is my Diag RDBMS DevDB DevDB1 and trace node one. We have this alert log here. Similarly, on node two, LL alert. So we have this alert DevDB2 dot log. This is a local log file which are locally available under OA storage, not an ASM storage. And also we have this. All the trace files, TRM file, and incidence files, diag files, audit files, all are like instance specific. And these are called diagnostic files, which are node by node. If node one having issue, and then we're gonna look into those diag files and trace files. And node two having issue, and we're gonna go ahead and then look for those respective log files and diag files and trace files. So that's a quick brief uh, idea about which all files are saved and which all files are non saved and also what are files are in ASM supported and what are files are not supported. So in simple definition, all binary files are supported in ASM, like all data files, real log files, circle of files, export dump file, RMN dump file, SP file, password file, OCR file, ASM password file, SP file, and other than that, all your diagnostic files, P file, alert log files, DRM file, trace files, and core dump file, instance files, audit files are all like non said one. And again, uh, incidence files and core dump files, which are in binary file, binary format also, and those are not, not supported. As I said, in simple definition, all binary files are supported in ASM, but architecture wise, we never, Oracle never club or dump incidence or core dump file into your ASM storage. Those are local way storage specific under diagnostic, diag directory. These are like diagnostic files, which are locally available on individual host wise, individual rack cluster node wise. Again, all these SP file, alert log file, trace file, TRM file, incidence files, code dump file and audit files. These are your database specific. And also these are your instance specific. Your instance also has all these diagnostic files. Your Database also has your all the diagnostic files. And also we have listener log files. And then your cluster trace files. Right. So these are again furthermore extra files which are locally available under that respective node and not said. Again, even here go on your cluster wide logs also. Right, so that's a simple intro about how you can distinguish between your 
said and non said file and what are supported and non supported files for your asm we'll keep a track and we'll continue further on our in upcoming sessions on under rack internals rack architecture and rack concept until then take care thank you